360 young people a day become homeless. This is a reported estimate. The true scale of it is frightening. Young people are visible to authorities and services. This is why they're likely to be hidden homeless. From sleeping on friends' sofas to alternating between short-term accommodation. When a young person can't evidence their homelessness, this leads to cruel processes, such as going to a formal caregiver for written confirmation that they're no longer welcome back home. Young people get low wages, less benefits, and less entitlement in the support they're offered. They're not a priority in the Homeless Reduction Act. Because of their age, this means they don't get homelessness support from their local authorities. Due to their lower income and housing benefits, it also means they can't live independently in their own homes. Sounds unfair, doesn't it? Young people are often placed into mixed accommodation with older people, which is inappropriate and often scary. Young people experience homelessness are very likely to be exposed to harmful behavior or harassment and exploitation. This is why having targeted home for Youth Pacific is necessary. I'm not here to reinvent the world. I've had a first-hand experience that has shown effectiveness through the joint effort of the Paul and New Horizon Youth Centre. They've created a safe and secure haven with fully trained staff and a diverse inclusion programme. Yet, that's only one. Imagine having multiple across London and throughout the UK. Young people, prevention is key in making an impact. The poor has adapted this by going into schools and teaching young people on their legal rights and where to go for support. Alongside, there's family mediation, a service that offers ongoing and structured support, advice, and guidance to help families move forward, communicate clearly, and strengthen relationship. This is why, with over 140 charities, we urge it is imperative for the government to adopt a cross-departmental strategy to end youth homelessness, informed by young people's lived experience. We can end youth homelessness. We will end youth homelessness. At what rate? That's on you to decide. See us for our potential, not our poverty.